what's up? It's DJ Riot. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is take you guys on a tour of my studio right over here. I'm going to show you just everything I kind of use to make my beats. So, let's go. Alright, so right there, as you can see, that's my studio. That's what I use to make my beats. I'm just going to do a quick run rundown of everything I have here. So, um, as you know, it's probably these on right here. This switch and this switch controller... They both power pretty much everything here, both the speakers, sound, and my laptop, and the light. there's some lights, which I'll show you those. Um, it's an American DJ PC4, I got two of them, so I'm making eight switches on each side, so. Uh, this side's more of my, uh, like, sound and more of the audio equipment, and this side's more of the lights, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, right down here, we got a Newmark C1 mixer. This is what I'm using to power the speakers here. And then, um, I'll show you what that does in a second, too. Um, alright, and then I got my Acer laptop. It's an Aspire something. I don't really know the exact name of it, but it's a nice laptop. It gets, it, 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 it's good for what I use it for. I don't need to get, like, a Mac or anything. I would love to get one sometime, but for right now, this is good. Um, and then you probably know what's right here. This is an actual, this is an iPad, too. I, uh installed it with these screws right in here this is just like like a material to put like tacks in like a cork thing something like that but i put in uh, three screws and put the ipad in there so it's like an external screen which is really cool it looks nice um all right let me move over to here quick this is an akai professional mpd 18 uh compact pad controller um, I don't really use this so much. I used to use it when I first started making beats, and now I just mostly do on FL Studio. Um, but this did come with um, Ableton Live, which I don't really use that, but maybe I'll start using it eventually. You probably know it's right back here. This is a, uh, it's called the JBL Flip. I don't use that with the studio stuff. That's just there for looks mostly, but I do use it. Like, it's a wireless, um, a Bluetooth speaker, so it's nice to have. You can take it anywhere with you. Don't worry about cords or anything. It's got a battery. Um, so let me show you what I use for my main speaker source, which is the Beatbox by Dr. Dre, as you can see. It, this is a really nice speaker. I mean, I don't care what people say about it. This is an awesome speaker. It gets both uh, the low, mid, high is perfect. And it's got a great bass. And especially with this controller, this switch right here controls both that speaker. And as you can see down there, that's a little subwoofer. That's my sound right there for my studio. That's all I really need, and it's loud enough to make the beats. And, I mean, this can get loud. You can control the EQs right here with the bass and the mids, the highs. So you can make it with more bass or less bass if you want. These little speakers right here, they connect with that subwoofer, but I don't use those because those are really bad speakers. I mean, I would use them if they were good, but they're really bad. But the subwoofer is good, so that's why I use that for mostly my sound, and that's for my bass. That's what I usually do. Um... Right here on the side, they're just two boxes of just, oh yeah, let me move to that quick. Right here is my, uh, it's an Audio-Technica AT2020 mic with a Samson let me think, SP01, something like that, shock mount. And then I got a double pop filter, see, one, two. It just helps it better with the, um, with the S noises and stuff like that. Uh, and this is an on-stage microphone stand, and right there is a pair of Beats Solo HD headphones. I just got those, so not only can I make beats, but I can record people because I got a mic. So it's kind of cool, I can do both, do both vocals and make a beat to it and stuff like that. So, um, And this little blue thing, that controls the, the speakers here, but I don't use them. But, so that just, that just powers the sub down there, and that connects all right back to that. Um, as you probably noticed in the beginning of the video, this right here... These are uh, my DJ business company's speakers we use. Uh, it's a big JBL Eon subwoofer and two PVPR speakers. Crown amp powers them. And I do use these when I have a controller up here, but I don't have that right now. I usually have the VMS4 up here in the American Audio. And I run. there's a cord that runs around my room right here. Keeps going. And then it runs right to that controller. So I can control this switch right here. To control the back, so I can have the front speakers on and the back, so I can have like surround sound, and especially when those are on, it's much louder in here because, as you can see, it's not a big. I don't have a big room, but it sounds really nice in here. So, 
So that's basically the rundown of my audio and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and if, it's just a little wireless mouse I like to use. Um, all right, now I'm going to show you this side right here. Hit that switch. You notice a little light comes on. It's just these LED strips. I don't know what they're really called. I forgot where I got them. Just online somewhere. But they're really nice. You can change the color. I just keep them on that purplish color for like a black light. Because as you notice, right there and there is the next switch, which are black lights that I installed right in the side of my desk. Just screwed them right in. I'll get back. And that's what it looks like. It looks really nice. And they used to be down there, but I'm, I decided to move them. Put them on the side. Do something different, and then one more switch, and that is the Mega Bar 50 RGB, something like yeah, the American EJ Mega Bar uh, 50 RGB, which means 50 like LEDs. Um, but what that is, is I just put that down there for like an up light on the wall, and that's also the color as that light and the black light, so it's all like black light. So when the lights are off in here, it looks really nice. So that's what I meant by my audio and light side. And that is pretty much it. Yes, and one more thing. Just some records I put up there, old vinyl records, just for the look. And it's it's really nice. I like I love making beats on this 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 whole setup. It just it feels it feels good making beats here because um everything that that's incorporated. I don't just have a laptop and a speaker. I have all this stuff that makes it look nice. And if I get back, that's the whole thing. So. So yeah, I'll meet you back over here. Alright, so as you just saw right there, that was my complete setup of my studio. Um, if you have any questions or you want to know something more about all this stuff, just leave a comment below or anything like that. Or you can leave a comment on my channel or something or inbox me, whatever you want to do. Um, look out for some new uh, tracks coming out soon. I'm going to be releasing one in a couple days. And then I'll make more videos and updates for you and stuff like that. So, uh... Like always, subscribe, and thanks for watching.